please kneel. Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do, the more my faith increases that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there have been a number of times also that I failed to call on you, that I failed to ask for pardon and to give pardon to others, that I failed to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around, to take me back once more if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may I be led to find your presence in my life, as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory. May I be able to recognize your hand, that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Five Sorrowful Mysteries The First Mystery, The Agony in the Garden our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand.
The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Litany in honor of Mary, our mother. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. 
us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. For us, refuge of sinners, pray for us, solace of migrants, pray for us, comfort of the afflicted, pray for us, help of Christians, pray for us, queen of angels, pray for us, queen of patriarchs, pray for us, queen of prophets, pray for us, queen of apostles, pray for us, queen of martyrs, pray for us, queen of confessors, pray for us, queen of virgins, pray for us, queen of all saints, pray for us, queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that through meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Extend, O Lord, to your servants your heavenly aid, that we may seek you with all our hearts and obtain what we ask. Hear, O Lord, our prayers and grant to our deceased associates the rest of heaven and to your church peace through the intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary and the merits of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your son and brought him forth into the world, you placed him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries and a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of Contrition My Lord Jesus Christ, True God and true man, my Father and Redeemer, I kneel in the presence of your divine majesty, overcome with grief for having offended you, my God, so deserving of all my love. I believe in you, I trust in you, and trusting in your infinite mercy, I hope to have my sins forgiven. With the help of your divine grace, I resolve to confess my sins and to start my life anew. Chastise me in this life, O Lord, but spare me in eternity. Help me make my life a worthy oblation to atone for all my sins and the sins of all men. During this novena to Mary, your mother, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, help me to know you better, to love you more fervently, to serve you with more dedication. 
Grant me the grace to live and persevere in your service until death. Amen. Prayer for every day of the Novena. O most clement virgin, O tenderest mother, O sweetest Mary, comforter of the afflicted and refuge of sinners, mediatrix between God and men. You are Noah's Ark, our salvation in the deluge of sin. You are the rainbow of peace, our reconciliation with God. You are the dove that brings us the olive branch of peace. As a token of your maternal love, you gave to the, world, to the Catholic world through your son Dominic the most holy rosary. Through this devotion, pagans were converted, heretics brought back to the true fold, enemies of the church vanquished, and Christian society reformed. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, we call on you for assistance. You alone did overcome all heresies in the world. Deliver now your Christian people from the snares of the devil. Great was your love for this nation, for when the enemies of the Catholic religion threatened to take away our faith, you saved us miraculously through your intercession, and thus secured for yourself the title of Queen and Mother of the Philippines. Look down with mercy on those who are deceived by the evil one, that they may renounce their heresy and return to the unity of the Catholic truth. Illumine our rulers, that under your guidance, they may govern this land as worthy representatives of God. Inspire us all to study religion, to fulfill the commandments, and to receive the sacraments, which are essential of true Christian life. As we became Christians through your intercession, we also hope to live as such under your protection. With your rosary as our anchor, we hope to reach that heavenly kingdom where for all eternity we can have you as our queen and Christ our king. Special prayer for the ninth day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother of the Philippines, we rejoice to behold you crowned queen of God's creation, your own prophecy from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed is now fulfilled. We rejoice to behold you enthroned mother of the church and mediatrix of all graces. We rejoice because of all God's chosen people. We have a big share of your maternal protection in return for which we proclaim you are special protectress, the queen of mother of the Philippines. In union with all the angels and saints in heaven and all your loyal children on earth, we sing your praises at the foot of your throne. We lay garlands and roses of our prayer, your most holy rosary. Remember, O most gracious queen, that never was it known that anyone who asked for your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspire with this confidence, we come to you, our mother. Despise not our supplications, but grant our prayers. Amen. Let us now ask a particular favor we wish to obtain in this novena through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Final prayer for every day. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Refuge of the human race, we humbly prostrate ourselves before your throne, confident that we shall receive mercy, grace, assistance, and protection, not through our own inadequate merits, but solely through the great goodness of your maternal heart. 
may the sight of the widespread material and moral destruction, the sufferings and sorrows of countless human beings move you to compassion. O Mother of Mercy, obtain peace for us from God and procure for us those graces which prepare, establish, and assure that peace. Queen of Peace, pray for us and give to the world and to the Philippines the peace for which we are all longing, the peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Lastly, O Queen of Heaven, as the Church and the entire human race are consecrated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, so that in reposing all hope in Him, He might become for them the pledge of victory and salvation, so we, in like manner, consecrate ourselves to You, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, you who have chosen to raise your throne of mercy in Manawag to be the beloved protectress and patroness of the province of Pangasinan and from there to bestow your graces on us, your children, banished in this valley of tears, look down with your eyes of mercy upon us who are beset with so many dangers of body and soul. Despise not our petitions, O dearest mother, but intercede for us before your divine Son, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand.
Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome to the ninth day of our Novena Masses. And so we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. in the highest. Let us pray. Lord our God, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, you reveal your Son to the world as the glory of Israel and the light of the all nations. Grant that us, we follow his teaching and examples. We may strengthen by our faith in Christ and acknowledge him to be the one mediator and the Savior of the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see, 
your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Epha, and all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, give your judgment to the king, your justice to the son of kings, that he may govern your people with justice, your oppressed with right judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. That abundance may flourish in his days, great bounty till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. May the kings of Tarshish and the islands bring tribute, the kings of Arabia and Siva offer gifts. May all kings bow before him, all nations serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he rescues the poor when, he, when they cry out, the oppressed who have no one to help. He shows pity to the needy and the poor and saves the lives of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Please stand. We have seen his star in the east and have come to adore the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, Herod inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, the Magi set out. And behold, the star they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. The Magi prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, 
the Magi departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are now on the ninth day of our Novena Masses, the last day, bukas po, fiesta na po. And on this ninth day, the final day of our Novena Masses, the Gospel tells us about the Epiphany. Kung titignan niyo yung kwento, Paskong Pasko, the story about the three kings. And when we talk about Epiphany, it means manifestation. Ang pagpapakita ng Diyos sa tao. After the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, three kings visited, came to visit our Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya tinatawag na Epiphany, the manifestation. For the first time in the history, nakita po ng tao ang Diyos, ang batang si Jesus. And it's so timely that on this final day of our novena, there is, this is a good reminder for all of us. A reminder about the manifestation of God in our lives. Ang Diyos nagpapakita. Take note. Kusang nagpapakita sa tao. Kaya magandang paalala ito sa ating pagdariwan ng kapistahan ng kanyang ina. Paalala na ang kanyang anak na siyang Diyos nating lahat ay kusang nagpapakita sa tao. It's all about epiphany and the celebration of the gift and the blessing of the manifestation of our Lord to men. And when we talk about epiphany, I have three things for you on this final day of Novena. The first of all is that when we talk about manifestation or paghahanap, okay, well, why is it manifestation? Because God knows fully that it is part of our nature to look and to find. Bahagi po ng ating pagkatao ang maghanap. Lahat tayo dito naghahanap. Bakit tayo nandito sa loob? Kasi may hinahanap tayo. Kaya nga naman, when we talk about sa paghahanap, I have three things. First of all, ang paghahanap ay isang obligasyon. Okay, yes, it is part of our human being. It is part of our human nature. Bahagi po ng ating pagkatao. But I would like to highlight that when we talk about looking or searching, it is our obligation. Bahagi po ng ating obligasyon ang maghanap. Maghanap ng katuwang sa buhay. Maghanap ng kasama sa buhay. Maghanap ng trabaho. Hindi pwedeng nakatunganga ka lang dyan. Maghanap ng direction sa buhay. Hindi ka pwede, you just simply go with the flow. You have to decide when we talk about searching. Kailangan mong maghanap ng iyong direction sa buhay. Kailangan mong hanapin ang iyong vocation sa buhay. You have to look for your own vocation. You have to look the ways and means to survive. You have to look for answers. You have to look for reasons. Kaya ito yung paalala ko sa inyong lahat. When we talk about searching, it is an obligation. Bahagi po ng ating obligasyon ang maghanap. Kaya nga naman nandito tayo sa loob eh. Bakit tayo nandito sa loob at kahit mismo sa labas? Because we're searching for something. We're searching for reasons. Answers, enlightenment and ways and means to survive. We're searching for ways to be cured from all our illnesses. We're searching for enlightenment in the midst of our confusions and doubts in life. We're searching for interventions, divine intervention, for us to make it for the examinations. Kaya obligasyon po natin ang maghanap. Second, when we talk about searching, it is also a part of our ways and means of our human nature to look for guidance. Yun kailangan natin ng gabay. In the story of today's gospel, the three kings 
don't actually know where to go. They don't even have their own direction where to go. But they survived and they were so confident and so confident to proceed because they have their own guidance. Meron silang gabay, yung tala, the star, led them away to their own direction. And I also believe in our own searching, my dear friends, we need guidance. Kinakailangan natin yung gabay sa mga anak. Please, maniwala kayo. Kailangan nyo ang inyong mga magulang. Hindi nyo kailangan mag-isa. You need company. You need friends. You need guidance. Experts or priests for enlightenment. For your spiritual guidance. Huwag kang maging mayabang na sabihin mo, kaya kong mag-isa. Nakatungtong ka lang ng college, naging disuotso ko lang, ang yabang-yabang muna. Huwag kang matigas ang ulo. Don't be so stubborn as if kaya mong gawin ang lahat. Huwag kang sabihin natin, walang kagana-gana. Matuto kang magtiwala sa iba. Matuto kang magtiwala sa iyong pamilya. Magtiwala sa iyong mga kasama. Magtiwala sa mga nakakataas sa iyo. At higit sa lahat, the most important guidance that we should always hold on to ay ang Diyos. In our faith, in our Catholic faith, we always believe in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Kaya nga, please, never forget to pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit. If you are in, in doubt, please seek for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yun po ang sinasabi sa atin ng pananampalataya. We always believe on the third divine person that the Holy Spirit was sent by God to be our guidance, our paraclete in our own undertakings here on earth. Kaya kung sakaling nagtatanong tayo, nalilito tayo, hindi natin alam ang gagawin. Simply spend a moment of silence. Magdasal ka and seek for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, I need your guidance. Pangatlo, when we talk about paghahanap, definitely, God will provide. I'm telling you, God will provide. Hindi man natin alam. Hindi man natin alam that God will provide, but definitely He will provide. And I just hope the moment that we receive the blessings, we receive answers, we receive enlightenment, we receive prayers, we make it, yes, we made it to the examination. Yes, I am cured. Yes, I have decided. Yes, answer prayers. Salamat, mahal na ina. Salamat sa Diyos. Natupad ang aking mga panalangin. And my third invitation is that, I just hope and pray that the moment we receive our answers, we also have a new realization in life. For all, an, all answered prayers, it's an invitation for all of us to come up with our new realizations in life. Yun lang. Sana sa mga panalangin na nasagot ng Diyos, sa mga pagkakataon na tayo'y gumaling, tayo'y nagkaroon ng enlightenment, tayo'y pumasa, tayo'y natanggap ng mga biyaya, tayo'y umangat ang buhay, naging sagana ang buhay. Sana po ang panalangin ko lang, sana rin ay may pagbabago sa buhay natin. Nakakalungkot, it's so sad that you see people who are so blessed they're so, so outspoken to say that I have an answered prayers and yet, hindi pa rin nagbabago. Ganun pa rin, chismosa pa rin, ganun pa rin madada, ganun pa rin mayabang, ganun pa rin sinungaling, ganun pa rin social. You know, God, when God provides, it's an invitation for you to change. Have a new disposition. Be become a better person. 
become a more humble person. Be generous, be kind, and be more understanding. Kasi alam nyo, kapag ang Diyos nabigay sa inyo ng biyaya, hindi ibig sabihin you deserve it. Huwag tayo maging mayabang that when God provides, it is as if we truly deserve them. No, we are not even worthy of a single blessing from God. But God is not giving up on us. That is why He keeps giving us blessings to finally make us feel His presence and eventually come up with a realization that we need to change. We need, we need to become a better person now. We need to become a more prayerful person now. More generous, more kind, more understanding, more honest. Or else, baka sa bandang huli, mawawala at mawawala ang lahat dahil sa kayabangan ng tao. Kapag nauubos ang biyaya, hindi po ibig sabihin tinatanggal ng Diyos yan. Huwag niyong isipin na nawala sa akin, nagkasakit ang ganito, ganyan, ganyan, kasi hindi ako mahal ng Diyos, mali. Nawawala ang biyaya dahil sa kahinaan at kasamaan ng tao. Nauubos ang blessings dahil sa kayabangan ng tao. Nauubos ang kapayapaan at yung peace of mind and heart dahil sa pagiging chismosa at kung ano-ano pang hindi karapat dapat sa isang tao. And it's a good reminder once again, it is always a part of our human nature to search for meaning. And definitely, first of all, this is our obligation to search for the meaning. Hindi ka pwedeng tatanga-tanga dyan. Go! Move forward! Proceed! Decide! Think! And do something for you to achieve the meaning in life. And I just hope along the way, look for assistance. Look for guidance. The guidance of the Holy Spirit most especially. And finally, when God provides... Let us be grateful. And the one of the ways to be grateful is to become a new person. Please all stand. Let us verify who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. And we ask the Lord by saying, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love in their vocation of all hearted service, we pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede, intercede for, us, for us, Lord. You taught Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may, through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God, lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity, we pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Through her intercession, Grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May we receive God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, May the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede, intercede for us, Lord. For the intentions of Reverend Father Romualdo Cabanatan, Jr. O.P., who is celebrating his profession anniversary today, let us pray to the Lord. 
May your, May your mother, mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We pray. May, May your mother, mother intercede, intercede for us, us Lord. Lord. All powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. By her prayers, help us to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As the Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, we have this wine to offer for the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Lord God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, consecrate these gifts, the offering of joyful hearts on this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let them become the body and blood of Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mother, to reveal your glory and to give his whole life for our salvation. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For through the ministry of the Blessed Virgin, you draw the families of all peoples to faith in the gospel. The shepherds bathe in your glory and enlightened by choirs of angels, acknowledged Christ as the Savior and became the first fruits of the church from the people of Israel. The wise men, inspired by grace and led by a shining star, entered a lowly house, found the child with his mother, and as the first fruits of the church from the Gentiles, worshiped him as God, proclaimed him as king, and acknowledged him as redeemer. Through him, the angels and of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending God your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time of us betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we drink it and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Philip and James, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray, Savior of nations. Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who celebrate with steadfast love this memorial of the mother of your Son, may be saved by his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag would like to thank Reverend Father Romualdo Cabanatan Jr. O.P. and Reverend Francis Bori O.P. for presiding over the Novena Mass. We would also like to thank the Word Proclaimers, Eucharistic Ministers, Knights of the Author, Choir, Catechists, Collectoras, and, and Church Greeters for actively participating in the Eucharistic celebration and being one in honoring the Blessed Mother. And finally, we thank you, our dear pilgrims and sponsors of this Mass. May the care and the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa itong ating banal na misa at lalong-lalo na sa ating siyam na araw na nobena. Maraming salamat po at patuloy po nating panalangin ang bawat isa. Muli sa ating ibanghelyo sinasabi na ang tao ay naghahanap at ang tao ay naghahanap din ng gabay. At sana sa paghahanap, sa paghanap nito, tayo din ay magbago. At sa katapusan, sana po ay maging katulad tayo ng ating mahal na inang si Maria. Si Maria po ay iba, hindi po naging katulad ng tao. Si Maria ay kusang hinanap. Si Maria ay naging nagsilbing gabay nating lahat. At higit sa lahat, ang kanyang presensya ang siyang nagbibigay sa atin ng pagbabago at mapayapang kalooban. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you always know and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of the spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the blessing of all the religious articles and, and blessing for the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your images, candles, and religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty and merciful God, creator and preserver of the human race, giver of heavenly grace and lavish dispenser of eternal salvation, we humbly beg you in your immeasurable goodness to bless this vehicle carrying the image of Our Lady of the Rosary in honor and praise of our Mother of your Son. As it embarks today on its journey within the Diocese of Linga and Dagupan, with your holy benediction, bless the places in which this vehicle will traverse that the residents may be preserved from the pandemic caused by the enemies, visible and invisible. Likewise, may all the faithful who venerate the image while meditating on the divine mysteries receive abundance grace to be delivered and be cured from all forms of illness and suffering of body and spirit. This we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ferry mo na tawag nyo. Ferry mo. Ito ka nga ito. Pwede silang ferry mo. Ferry mo. 